The hurdling trail leg is kind of like the motor that makes all the speed happen over the hurdle, and so many athletes aren't doing it right. I'm going to continue my deep dive into hurdle technique, this one focusing on the trail leg at a practical level for coaches. I'm going to call this 3A in the series because it's focusing just on the girls. I'll also do a 3B for the boys. If you haven't seen the other videos, I recommend you checking them out also so that you have some context. So let's go. So what I mean when I say it's the motor, it's what you push off with, and it's the first step to the next hurdle. And if that weren't enough pressure, if you don't move it right, it forces you to go too high on the hurdle. In this video, I'm going to show some of an elite athlete, but I'm mostly going to show a good high school athlete so you can get a realistic expectation. The first thing that you want to look at is that when they plant and push off this leg, it gets a full extension and their body's in a good angle towards the hurdle. Here's my high school athlete showing us the same thing. And as they approach the hurdle and they pull their trail leg through, it's always going to be hanging low. This is to be expected. But when they reach the top of their leap, this is what you should look for. Their leg should be perpendicular to the direction of their motion and somewhere between parallel and a little less than parallel to the ground or the hurdle bar. My high school example here, you can see that her trail leg is hanging lower. This is very common, but it's also a limiting factor in how low she can go. If she were to go any lower at this point, she would hit her trail knee as she goes through. So to get any low over the hurdle without hitting it, she's going to have to change her angle more to something like this. Also at about the same point, you'll see that their lower leg is almost parallel to the ground. Also as the leg continues to move through, you're going to want to see the heel tuck into the bum just like this. This is what you want because you could swing a closed limb, a shorter limb around faster than you can if it were opened up. Now at this point, Ideally, you see the lower leg almost parallel to the ground, but with my high school example, because her knee is hanging lower, we see that her lower leg is actually angled up like this with her foot higher than her knee. This is pretty common and not a very big deal. What we don't want is a situation like this where the heel is not tucked into the butt and the leg is hanging low with the foot high. Now as we continue the movement, you'll see that the knee is up high and the height of your knee is actually going to be relative to your height in relation to the hurdle. If you're an average size hurdler like she is, your knee is going to be even with your hip so your thigh will be parallel to the ground. A taller hurdler can have their knee lower, but a shorter hurdler is going to have their knee higher almost at chest level the way that boys and men come off hurdles. Now here's where we separate the really great hurdlers from the lesser hurdlers. Notice that as we continue the motion of the trail leg, as she moves forward and she gets to the point where she's driving off of this leg and you can see that she's at the ball of her foot, she has a strong extension with her lead leg and her thigh is still high with her foot directly underneath it, something like this. When we look at my high school example, you'll see something very different. At this point where she's driving off of her foot, you'll see that for one, her knee is collapsed, but she also has a low knee, which is just dropping passively to the ground. Now, if you thought I was going to throw this poor high school hurdler under the bus, I wouldn't do that. This is Hannah. She's actually a very good high school hurdler, runs about a 15-5 in the 100 meter hurdles. And what you saw there was what she did before I taught her how to do this movement. She's a great athlete and she picks things up very quickly. So with me just giving her that one explanation and cue to drive hard off that lead leg, you can see she's already doing better. Her leg is more straight, she has her thigh out more directly, and her foot is underneath her. And then she drives her foot strongly to the ground with her leg angled back into the track, which is exactly what we want because we don't have a braking action there. This is a good coachable athlete. That was a lot to throw at you. And now that you know what it should look like, let's talk about how you can learn to actually make your trail leg move like this. I recommend starting with a wall drill and then some slow walking drills, pulling your trail leg through just the way you want it to go. 
And once you master that, you can go into some skipping drills, which are faster and more complex. Once you're good at those, you can graduate to jogging drills just with your trail leg. And then when you're ready, you can go over the hurdle, but just focusing mostly on the trail leg. I'm in the process of putting together a comprehensive list of all the hurdle drills and associated videos. If you want to see when that comes out, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and also go to my website at Ace Method Coaching to subscribe. For that, all you need to do is sign up for any of my free things like my hurdle technique cheat sheet, a free video review, or my off-season and pre-season training plan. Wow, that's a lot of free things. Maybe I'm giving too much away for free. So you better get them while you can. Until then, Coach Ace out.